I've never been a part of a company like this, I and mean, we were all so close. And uh, just speaking about our cast, everyone works on such a high level. Everyone's so good, it makes me, like, I better bring it, because she's bringing it, you know, and every single person, and we all adore each other. You gotta balance it out. There's a lot of drama and a lot of scandals, so we gotta keep it real. I'm either going to have to have an L tattooed on my forehead, or something's going to have to go right for me at some point. Yeah, even if I, I think if I found a penny, I could go, all right, things are turning around with this guy. I found a penny in this episode. From the moment I, I got that script and read those scenes of, of Huck being tortured, I, I automatically started like getting in that headspace. And Sally Fields once said when she has to do a role like that, she starts um, kind of symbolically slicing herself open to, to kind of be this open wound. So I, already from, you know, when I got the script, I was, I was already trying to be in that space of like, all right, this is gonna happen. And, and we got to rehearse the waterboarding scene the day before we shot it, so that was really helpful. And, and, um, you know, and then you just go in with scenes like that and you just go for it. Like I, I truly gave it my, my all and was in it and it was intense mm, and it was it hardcore showed. and Whoa. hopefully people liked it, you know? Yeah. Well, the show is, is its own universe. It's okay. a completely separate okay. world from what's going on right now. Oh, mm, no, no divas. divas. We have no divas. I'm the Goodness. diva. <laughs> Where's my light? No, 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 no. There's no divas. Yeah, it's, we're lucky. No divas at all. We have a lot of jokesters. Lot Carrie's of hilarious. Carrie, Washington, you wouldn't think someone so beautiful is so funny. Our lead characters are allowed to look like all of us, you know, that we can we can have lead actors who are white or black or Latin or Asian or men or women or old or young or whatever. Um, so I feel proud of that. I feel proud of us as a, as a society. Hi, you must be Olivia Pope. I'm Olivia Pope. I worked with I worked with amazing writing, and I worked with amazing artists. Shonda is one of this generation's greatest writers. Period. Stage, screen, television, uh, she just is, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so we feel like we're just crazy lucky. For myself, I'm so excited to be the product of Shonda Rhimes' brain <laughs> that. I don't, I have no idea and I don't want to know. You know, I mean, I literally could not tell you where we're going to go and that makes it such an exciting roller coaster ride for us. Yeah, anytime we've ever had an idea, I feel like the writers do such a better mm -hmm. job. I don't even try to come up with ideas anymore. You just sort of sit back and we're on the ride. And just trust in Shonda. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful when they hand me a script, because these scripts are come like this big, yeah. and they every time I finish one, I think, what in the world will they do next? Like, it worries me. But they come and they blow your mind. Ah. The people that we get to hang out yeah. with every day. I mean, it's really, she, Shonda just magically put together a group of people that I actually like love hanging out with 15 yeah. hours a day. And totally. everyone is funny, yeah. and we all sing and dance and act like idiots. And we work really freaking hard. That and we too. love we want to make the show as good and, yeah. as we can for yeah. the audience, for us, because we love the show just yeah. as much as everyone else. It seems like they can not get enough of each other. So uh, I imagine that they're sort of stuck with each other on and off. I don't really know how to describe the relationship anymore. Clearly they have real feelings for each other. I mean, I think we've, we've seen in the show that there's something real there. It's not, it's not just a hookup. It started as a hookup, um, and I think they've got a rocky road ahead of them, but, but they do have a road ahead of them. Quinn's on a mission to, she's chosen to be at Olivia Pope and Associates. You know, she's Olivia Pope, ride or die. She is Lindsay Dwyer no more. And she's just really looking for a place to fit in, and she's looking to be good at something. You know, if she's gonna be in this job, like. She's not going to be the newbie. She needs to figure out where she fits in and what she's good at. And um, Huck is kind of taking really her ground around. Really herself, yeah. you know, and that's coming mm -hmm. from him. Well, it's such a touchstone for gender politics, right, through the years and through my lifetime, certainly, to have seen Hillary Clinton sort of really broaden the envelope in terms of substance. And, and uh, right now, it's un an unparalleled height, I think. Michelle Obama, to me... It, she blows my mind. I mean, form and function and style and grace. I, I know that there's going to be something special down the line, um, and it's going to be it's going to knock your knock your socks off. Shonda Rhimes specifically said in an interview recently that Harrison is the gun on the wall that we have yet to shoot, and we are waiting because it's going to be big. We got to wait for the right time. So. 
I hope we still Gun have a on the shot. wall that we haven't shot yet. Judy's, um, she's really helpful in helping us to understand the world of crisis management. And she never tells us about any specific client of hers. In fact, sometimes I'll call her and say, where are you right now? And she says, I, I can't tell you that, Carrie, um, which is really exciting. I keep asking her if she <laughs> won't tell me. Um, but, yeah, she just kind of helps us to understand everything from, you know, what are the details that go on at a state dinner to what does it really feel like when you get that call at 2 in the morning that you have to go and identify a body. And she worked in the White House, so she's a tremendous resource about how the inner machinery works. And, um, and she's just amazingly, she's always available. Mm -hmm. well, my kids, on the other hand, while my, my daughter They comment and, a lot. They comment a lot. <laughs> they send me... Shock Excuse text me? messages. What? Yeah, right. Ew. <laughs> That's what they do. I think that Shonda knows. She's she's genius. She's ahead of us mm -hmm. by leap years. Yeah, she has a hundred episodes in her head. And you know what she does, what's really great, is that she doesn't blow her watch. She's she's Takes drawn. Her time. She's taking her time. Mm -hmm. And I am the one character that hasn't had a love interest, hasn't had a sex scene, hasn't had a shirt off, hasn't had yeah. it's been about the work. You haven't seen his personal life, hardly at all. At all. And I think um Which is fun. It it's becoming blaringly obvious so that it's like you know something is gonna happen. Yeah.